You understand? How you think God is, is feeling when you come as you are? I'm going to come as I am today. I'm just going to go to the Lord. I ain't going to change nothing. I still got weed smoke on my mouth. I'm going to send my prayers up. What the hell are you doing? Fix yourself. Yeah. You understand? Right. Yes, go to the Lord. You Fix yourself. Right and, and present, All right? Fix, right. Pre your present yourself to the Lord all. properly. All right? Yeah, he'll meet you where you at. But you got to change. You can't stay that way. The mindset of the black man and the black woman today is I'm going to come as I am every day. That's crazy. I'm a, wait, who, who will accept you that way? Well, who? Who? Tell me a place that will accept you coming as you are every single day besides the Christian church. Because the only way you can do that there is if you bring in your money. You understand? You got to be bringing your money in order to do that there. Or they're going to take you out. All right? What you got? So, uh, so uh, two and two. Yeah, read that. Read that. So, watch chapter 2 and verse uh, 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul. What did the Bible say? Prepare thy soul. So you got to prepare yourself when you come to serve the Lord. You cannot continue to stay as you are. You understand? You cannot continue to stay as you are. You have to be willing to change. Hold on. You have to be willing to open the door to let Christ come into you. You got to be willing to do that. Watch and four. No, no, no. Next question, please. I, I already answered you. Give me another no, question. You didn't. I, no, the first brother, time I if you get it. something on your birthday, raise your hand right now. Everybody. Everybody out there. If, if a hand. brother out here, oh, if, if any one of these brothers receive gifts on their birthday, raise your hand. No, none of these brothers celebrate their birthday. Right, Next right. question. Next question. I've never done it. We repented from our evil. That's right. We don't do it no more. That's you right. Understand? We not black no more. That's We're the right. Israelites. That's right. We don't do that stuff no more. All right, we don't read what you got. Say it, read it again. So what? So what? Two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul. We prepared our soul. You understand? We prepared ourselves for the Lord. Every day we're putting off and we're putting off more and more evil. More and more evil. We gotta say, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that thought. I gotta change that thought. I gotta get my mind from, from thinking those thoughts. Say it again. Are you not supposed to celebrate life? We celebrate God's commandments. Are we not supposed That's to what we celebrate. Was, I mean, the question. Where's the God commandment that say, so, yeah, I'm going to show you the life we celebrate. Give me Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. All right, I'm going to show you the life we celebrate. All right. So we're not supposed to celebrate life. We're not supposed to celebrate what? I'm going to just be mad as hell, looking crazy, my son born. I'm not supposed to celebrate this part of life. I'm going to show you the life you're supposed to celebrate. Read your guy. The book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. What does the Bible say? Keep my commandments and live. Brother, you asked the question, but you're not listening to the answer. You know what that tells me? That tells me that you really don't want the answer, but you want everyone to think that you have the answer. That's what you want us to think. If you really want it, you asked me a question, then you turned around and started talking didn't listen to anything we read. If you did listen to what we read, what did the Bible just say? You're wrong. The Bible ain't telling you to ask I'm not like talking to you. I'm what did the Bible you? say? I'm talking so to well, you. We're not to I'm talking life. to you. Say it again? You just said no, I'm not. asking you, what did the Bible just say? You just said they said we're not supposed to celebrate life, but how is that a truth? No, what did we just read out of the Bible? We don't celebrate you life. don't know because you weren't listening. We That's what I'm trying to show you. Right Was he listening? No, he wasn't listening. Read it again from the top. Keep my commandments and live. This is the life we're supposed to celebrate. God's commandments. God says if you keep his commandments, you will live. You understand? You will live if you keep his commandments. This is the life we're supposed to be celebrating. We're supposed to be celebrating God's commandments. How about we celebrate this? First Corinthians chapter 3. All right? I think it's verse 16 that I want. Bring it out. How about we celebrate this? All right? How about since we love life so much, since we love this life the Lord gave us so much, we love it so much, this life that was lent to us, because when your ass die, your soul is going back to the most high. Right. Read what you got. First Corinthians 3 and 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? What does the Bible say? Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? You hear that, sis? God says you need to celebrate what? The temple of God. God says you need to have respect for your temple. Doesn't say you need to celebrate anything. You need to have respect for your temple. Come on. That's right. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. My brother, you got the spirit of God supposed to dwell in you. And you're talking about life that we're supposed to be celebrating. But you standing in front of me smoking a cigarette. 
What you think that's doing to your life? It's making it longer? I thought we were supposed to be celebrating life. See? What the hell happened to that? You got a cigarette in your hand, you drinking a Heineken. You What's that doing you to your life? Because exactly. we hypocrites, bro. Mark chapter 7, verse 6. I'm going to show you what we are. We hypocrites, bro. Yes, you are a hypocrite. All right? Because you're telling me we need to have regard for life while you're smoking a cigarette and drinking a Heineken. That's crazy, bro. Here you go. Mark chapter 7, verse 6. He answered and said unto them, Excuse me. Well, well, as he says, prophesied. Excuse me. Well, as he says, prophesied. Of you hypocrites. Of ye what? Ye hypocrites. Of ye what? You hypocrites. So, Isaiah prophesied of these hypocrites that will come to us and tell us to, to, to believe things, to cherish things, to nurture things, to value things that they really don't value them themselves. Hey, you want hey. us to celebrate life, but you so you smoking a cigarette in front of me. A cigarette. But you talking? But you talking? Right, that's disrespectful because she gave you because you came out of her womb right and now what you're doing i'm asking i asked that question you're grown so i'm grown so with that mindset with that mindset what you're saying is since i'm grown i don't need to listen to anything my mama taught me or maybe my mama was too ignorant to teach me how to smoke cigarettes i don't know one of the two is, is, is one one of the two got to be right all right read it again he answered and said unto them well, have these signs prophesied of you hypocrites? Asias prophesied of all the hypocrites, all right? And I'm sorry that you're one, but guess what? There's repentance open for you if you put the cigarette down, all right? How about you do this? Just put the cigarette out. I asked a question. Let's start over. It all started from me. How about we start over that one? I can't. My, my, my body, my body, my body, my body is fine. Okay. No, it's my not. body is fine. You destroy your body right now. My body is fine. You know say you everything you, everything you eat destroy your body. But we talking about everything cigarettes. Everything you do right destroy your body. Every time you get, every time you don't get enough rest, eat food, brother. We command it. We got clean foods. We got unclean foods. The Bible don't talk about no clean cigarettes, my brother. It's not in there. You don't read about it. All right. You don't read about it. All right. Read it again from the top. He answered and said unto them. Well, have these signs prophesied of you hypocrites? So we don't want our brothers and our sisters to be hypocrites out here, all right? We don't want that. That spirit is not good, all right? It's not good. Your parents should have taught you better. And if they did and you're not listening to them, then you're going to die the death. That's what the Bible says. Give me Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Then we go on Matthew 26, all right? Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Read what you got. The book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 5. Blessed are the meek for they... verse 4. Verse 4. No, 15. I'm sorry. I called the wrong scripture. Matthew chapter 15, verse 4 or 5. Read you got. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 4. For God commanded, say, honor thy father and mother. What does the Bible say? Honor thy father and mother. Now, whose mother and father out here taught them to smoke cigarettes? Raise your hand. Nobody's, right? Nobody's, right? The Bible says that we need to honor your father and your mother. Come on. And he that curses father or mother. He didn't say to hell with what my mama taught me. To hell with what my father taught me. All right? To all the brothers and sisters that say to hell with their parents taught them. Come on. Let him die the death. What's the Bible say? Let him die the death. What's the Bible say? Let him die the death. But we don't want you to die, brother. But I can't change what the Bible didn't prophesy. I can't change it. The Bible say take care of your temple. If you don't take care of your temple, you're going to die to death. Give me give me First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. How that was raised. First Corinthians. It but, does it. You, yeah, it does it. How, you, how, a choice that somebody you witness made. against yourself, brother. Oh, witness, I said, raise brother, your listen, hand bro. if your mother taught you to smoke cigarettes. You didn't raise your hand. I don't have to wait. Read what you got. First Corinthians 3 and 17. Come on. If any man defile the temple of God. What does the Bible say? If any man defile the temple of God. That means getting tattoos. Do you understand? That means a woman. That means a woman having a pants on. That means a woman. That means a, that means a man not mighty enough to, to put his wife into subjection. You understand? A man not mighty enough to put his wife into subjection. Right? Come on. If any man defile the temple of God. If any man wants to continue to smoke cigarettes. If any man wants to continue to get high. If any man wants to continue to do crack cocaine. Come on. Him shall God destroy. What does the Bible say? Him shall God destroy. What does the Bible say? Him shall God destroy. The Bible 
Bible says, with him shall God destroy. We don't want you to be destroyed, brother. That's why we've given you life. But you want to celebrate your birthday. All right? You want to celebrate your birthday, but you don't give a damn about the life God gave you. That's crazy, all right? Listen, with that, we say that. Men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 